Boy, I'll, t- I'll tell you what, it doesn't come without a sense of irony. I mean, here I am in the middle trying to do a podcast, and they've got construction going on in the room next door. It doesn't matter how much I soundproof the place. You just, you, 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 you know, the knocking on these, 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 uh, these, the, 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 these bomb shelter buildings. All, I mean, they're, they're all nuclear fallout shelters made of solid flexcrete. I mean, I just, yeah, I mean, half of my, these rows, like a quarter of a mile long, I did fire in the other far end of the building. Someone's pounding a hammer, bam, 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 goes through the whole building. You'd have to get a. It had to get an anti-graviton suspension chamber in the middle of your thing, and, 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 and Deep Space Nine hasn't delivered them yet. We're still waiting on the shipments for those. I'm sitting here, though, talking to myself all week long about the need to stop talking and get to work. So I finally, get, I, I, you know, Monday hits, and I'm ready to go here with a podcast, and what are we doing? I, I jinxed it. Now we got people getting to work. So the construction noises that you will no doubt hear throughout the podcast are definitely poetic and on topic. Otherwise, I would have delayed the podcast. I know. Oh, but I can't complain. That's right. Thank you, George. Um, the, the yuppie way of complaining. But, but I can't complain. You can get away with doing anything as long as you say you're not doing it. That's one of the secrets to this. So... Let's see, what do I have here on my blank paper that has nothing on it? The, 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 the pile, yes. So, <clears throat> after attending the inauguration, two Corinthians walked into a bar. First, they met the biblically illiterate American media. Then, they met St. Peter, who still had not gotten over his vision in the book of Acts. <laughs> Let the reader understand. I've... No, um, whitehouse.gov, I, you know, no, I absolutely refuse, George, to even mention Trump's name once in the podcast. If people want to hear what I think about politics, they can go over to the Pacific Daily Times and get the symphony editorial podcasts and blogs over there. They're every week, and I do those to keep politics out of this. So I'm not going to mention Trump's name, not even once in this podcast. But, uh, pardon me, wait, 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 uh, uh, during their, their construction going on, gives everybody's uh, dun, 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 working. Okay, all right, we'll see how long it lasts. I... Now, in the spirit of not getting too involved in politics, the WhiteHouse.gov website, I can say a few things about it. Uh, construction going on all over the place. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So while the WhiteHouse.gov website is under construction, maybe that's what the noises are that I'm hearing over here. The White House dot go- uh, what is, uh, I, Excuse me, pardon me. It's a construction. Okay. White House dot gov. I don't want to talk about construction websites. Can you? Get, okay. All right. And uh, did you get it yet? Okay. He's got the White House dot gov website. Highly controversial, and I know exactly why. I mean, did you see it? It was, it was atrocious what I saw. The Instagram icon was out of date. Didn't they get the update memo? I mean, shouldn't Captain Twitter's team know that, 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 that Instagram sent out their policy changes on their official icon vectors? Didn't they get the memo? You know how much work I had to do to update my Instagram stock icons, which I... <sighs> construction. <sighs> okay, all right. I, I tell you what. No, of course. I mean, any website that I do, I do my own original icons, which also, I mean, if you've noticed the YouTube icon on the whitehouse.gov website, it's disproportionate. No, 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 no. YouTube is very particular about the proportions of the play button inside their... 
Okay. All right. You can strike opportune time to get a podcast to talk about getting back to work. So, other than that, I thought it was great. I mean, it's a trade. Oh. Uh, n- George wants me to tell you that I am not making these sounds up. My my fake paper is fake. Uh, well, it's a real paper, but it's blank. But these sound effects from construction are real. No, I, can, I don't know how loud it is in the condenser mic, but I can't hear myself even with my headphones on. With this... Okay. Back to construction. But Mike, have you ever had... This has been my day. Can you... I'm sharing my, from Asia with you my construction day. Maybe it's a sign we just shouldn't be arguing so much and we just need to get to work. I mean, if it's not love, it sounds like a resounding gong or clanging cymbal or jackhammer, rotator, drill, whatever that thing is, putting some strategic, aesthetically related hole into the flexcrete. (sighs) So, well, I'm going to try to get... Did you hear what Russia said about the Trump? Did you hear that? Well, uh, oh, we in the Russia did not... Did not. It was really great to listen to. I, lo- I love Russians. It's just really fun to impersonate them. I- I'm sure they have fun impersonating me. If you're Russian, please impersonate me. It's... Please. You have my... It's all love and fun. I love diversity. What did they say? We, we did, did, did not know that Trump had the political ambitions when he visited, so we did not spy on him. Though, of course, we are good spies, uh, but, uh, but Trump, uh, he's a grown man, and, uh, he runs many beautiful pageants, and, uh, if uh, Trump uh, needs, uh, shall we say, girls with social obligations, he does not need to come to Russia. But if he does, uh, then he would know Russian girls are the best. And that, and that was the end of that. Well, I, the thing was, all this talk about Trump, of all people, Captain Beauty Pageant, needing Russian prostitutes, it opened up the question. I thought that was funny. Um... Now, some people haven't figured this. Look, don't freak out about the White House website. When Obama went into office, that changed. Things change. I mean, I, you know, it, 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 this is what you, you should have gotten over this in November. Should have gotten over this in November. There's just been everyone's grandstanding. Everyone's grandstanding. And I, this has been my life listening to all this. Ugh. How can I? Uh, okay, so now that construction is filibustering my podcast, and I think it's trying to send a message that we all need to get busy. I think I need to get to the point. <clears throat> Stop grandstanding, shut up, and get to work. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele jessiesteel.com